Hey guys, back in April of 2004, I'd heard there was a guy who had excavated some giants and had some forensics tests done on them, and I wanted to know more about that, so I contacted that guy, and it happened to be Robert Shrewsbury. Robert Shrewsbury just recently passed away. I'm going to miss you, Robert. Uh, he was a wealth of knowledge, but uh, this is the taped conversation I had with uh, Robert, and hope you enjoy. Uh, this is Terry Carter calling. I uh, had the Treasure Hunters hideout website. And you asked me to put your your treasure hunting things on it. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Long time ago. <laughs> Long time ago. Hey, the uh, reason I'm calling is uh, I've uh, heard through the grapevine that, that uh, you did some carbon dating on some giant mummies. I, I remember you telling me you was working on some giant mummies because I heard done some, that you did carbon dating on them. Or had some done on the stuff that was on the Judd Ranch or something like that. I was wondering if you did have that done or I did, yeah. Did did uh, did you have the papers on them? And what did they carbon date to? And yeah, how I big did. were they? And all that kind of stuff. Well, it. Uh, let me see if I can explain it. You know John Brewer, who he is. R yep, I do very well. Okay, I know him pretty well. Uh huh. Anyway, well, that and I'm glad you brought that. That's another question I had. <laughs> <laughs> Down in um, Kanab area, and of course I grew up there, and I lived there recently for about 14 years, but uh, when we were kids, you know, we used to, <laughs> we really did beat the hills, we were kind of poor, and we, we found a lot of stuff. Yeah, I remember reading that in your book. I remembered where some of those places were, and when I was there recently, I got to looking around, and I found more and more, I think, I probably know where some 15 or 16 burials are there with the tall people in them, but they're between eight. Seven and eight feet tall, pretty much red hair, light skin. Most of them are pretty much skeletons. They are the red hair, and you measured them, they were between seven and eight, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow. Anyway, there's so many legal ramifications and oh. laws on that. I'm just kind of, my hands are kind of tight. Yeah. I did take a, a textile made out of tightly woven material and some hair, and not their hair, but some hair that was in a pot. Ah. A fishing net and some things, and I had to. Had it carbon checked out. The textile is a. I've got pictures of it somewhere on my computer, but it was really some nice designs woven into it. And I wasn't sure. I thought maybe it was cotton. I wasn't really sure what it was made out of. But I had a forensic test done on it in New Mexico by uh -huh. a specialist, and it turned out to be camel's hair. Really? It was a very complex weave. Really? Yeah, and it dated about twelve, well, about twelve hundred BC. Wow. And so on the other hair dated is a strange hair. It's a, probably it might be from an unknown species. We're not really sure. And it's pretty old, too. And the fishing net was about the same time period. And then I took one of the plates that John Brewer had. Now, you know that his stuff has really been declared a fraud by the actors. Yep, right. yep. In fact, uh, I'm working with some with some scientists and archaeologists now and having some of the cedar bark on one of them boxes tested right now, carbon dated yep. right now, so... A good idea. I, I really kind of it cost money to have that work done, so I kind of I kind of spent too damn much money on oh. it. I would have more, but I actually had one of his plates tested. Uh huh. What well, what did it test at? It was to about to about that time period, to about twelve hundred BC. It really? It was authenticated. Yeah, it was a lead plate. Um, so it pretty well it pretty well been authenticated too, and I have those documents. Could, could it, would it be possible to get a copy of those, or, or is well, that clear? You know, I might let you have a copy of that, sure. But let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm, I've, I've, me with a few other people, we've, we've formed a group called the Ancient Historical Research Foundation, mm -hmm. and on board we've got an archaeologist, uh, uh, a scientist, but he also does archaeometry, and he is the one that's doing our, our carbon dating, our testing, our, our spectrographs, all that stuff for us, and so. If you need anything done, I could probably help you out that way. But, anyways, that's that's uh, kind of what why I would like copies of it, and that's that's what I do with it. If if that's not a problem, if it's a problem, then then I wouldn't want you know. Or... The only one thing I'm concerned about, Terry, is that uh, now it's where I'm coming from personally. Okay. Yeah. I think science, whatever it does, 
ought to be clean and pure and not be biased and not be slanted. I agree with that. Politics and I agree with that 100%. percent <laughs> well, what's happened in Utah, the academic society that lied. Yep. Said John Brewer's stuff was a fraud. They they frauded the people. Yes, they did. I agree with that 100%. And they filled it up. It's like this find I got said in Utah. I've worked with a guy on that and we've tried to get a we've we've tried to get that opened up to do a legal archaeological excavation and you'd think that people would after the forensic test not documents that they'd jump at it, but nobody wants to fund it. Just get the well, death of it. Really? You you know what? I might be able to help you with that. Because we're 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 in the process of getting ready to raise funds for doing this kind of stuff. Right. So and and we and the people that we have are open minded. Uh, our archaeologist isn't a state uh, archaeologist; he's a private contract archaeologist with an open mind. So, so going to get a lot of resistance from that. <laughs> but I don't care. Yeah. I can get, you know, right now I just like uh, I can I can even I some of these tall people are even on somebody's private ranch where we could we could get permits. We could do an excavation, but hell almighty, he, uh, his ranch, he allowed the university to come in there one time, and before he knew what happened, they took 14 tall bodies. Oh, terrible. And they I'll, bet he was, say, I'll bet he was sick about that. Well, yeah. Was that the Judd Ranch? No. Oh, okay. I know the Judd, though. Okay. I know him pretty well. Bruce Judd and Clark Judd, uh -huh. all of them, I went to school with some of them. Uh -huh. kids. So, and they found stuff, too. Mm -hmm. So. Well, I, I would, uh, yeah, if somebody's really interested in doing it, I mean, yeah, almighty, I, I just want to stay away from human insanity and greed and crazy. Yeah. You know, make sure that we don't get something. I'm not yep. against religious people, but I don't want any any uh, screwball, one mighty and strongs to get on, on the act and say, this is mine and I'm the prophet. Right. Yeah, well, I'll, I agree with you 100%. This has to be, you know, this is... This is a group of people. This is what they dated at. This is what they did, you know, and and, and that's it. If anybody else wants to try and tie them to any religion or anything else, you know, that's, that's I guess they can do that if they want. But well, that's that's can. not that's those. that's not. You can't stop that. No, you can't. <laughs> but if you can be in on the ground of it and do your forensic tests and get some really good legitimate scientific study on it, then you can have something. And from there, of course, it's going to mutate branch off and everybody's own personal opinion. Yeah. You can control that. But yeah. Well, maybe what we ought to do is, is, is have a meeting with our board of directors and you and and, and uh, let you see who we are and, and maybe we can help you out or maybe we can't. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I would like to see that report regardless, but I don't want to, you know, if you don't want me to show it to our team or really? if you don't want to show it to me, that's It's not going to okay. hurt for me to show it just as long as, uh, like, I can show you, uh, you know, some pictures but of the textile and stuff like that, and I can show you the forensic test, and I can show you that. Just don't make a cult website. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm and not going to have all the pictures on it without permission. Right, you know I mean? no, and, and right, I agree with that 100%. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, I agree with that. Well, and, that, and and that brings me back to the brewer. Um, I I've heard, and I, I think maybe it was even you that told me that that you'd been in and seen the giant mummies that brewer took you in, or you'd been in on your own, or yeah, I've seen this and that, but I just not I'm not uh, how do I say it? It doesn't make me great or special or anything, and it's so tied up with so many problems that yes, it, as long as that's going on, as long as John's alive, as long as that's going on, I have. You know, it's like I know I've been in the museum in Costa Rica too, and there's a lot of stuff there, but it's there. It's not mine. Right. Know? Yep. Then I'll make it mine. Yep. Yep. So none of it's mine. It's no. Right. Yeah. I want to do some more forensic tests on some of Brewer stuff too, and I can do that. Well, I uh, I don't really have the funding to keep doing that. You know, we I'm might not. we might could help you out with that. So I don't know what type of forensic test you need, but we, we definitely could help you out. We've done a few of that on our own now. You know, like I said, the one stone box we've uh, taken the cedar bark and we're we're having it carbon dated right now at two different laboratories, so and they don't know that each other's doing a test, so that we. Okay, but to. you're doing it an, an authentic study where those people are licensed and bonded, making what they put on. Yep. Okay. Yep. It's going to two universities that are doing it, and they'll have a report back to us, and we should get that back around the 26th of this month. Mm. So now another thing that I, I watch out for is this. Okay. Um, is what? I'm just, I'm just a little bit not. I'm not actually paranoid. I'm just cautious. Is that 
Uh, sometimes somebody you'll, you'll get an artifact from somebody, and I saw this happen once, and this guy blown this guy an artifact, and, and he lost it. Yeah. You know, anything like that, the person has to sign for it, put his John Henry on it. Yep. And it's got to be overboard if he loses it. Uh, oh, yeah. I may send the that, Mohawk that. That, that. that stuff is, you're right, that's irreplaceable. That's, so you can't put a price on it, it's irreplaceable. Sure. You're right. <laughs> and, uh, so and, and, and 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 what we did, we had some other tests done on. Uh, you're probably aware of the Padilla plates and stuff like that. We had tests done on that. And what what we had was we had the people that uh, had these plates and had this stuff. We had them right there so that it never left their site. Wow. Uh, the bark, we we took samples of the bark and shipped that off, and they was you know knew that they wasn't going to get that back because they have to burn that down and get the carbon out of it and all that. So. Okay. Well, let me ask you this. There's a guy that has an artifact I would like to test, but he won't let it leave his house. Okay. And do your people have the ability to go there and test it? or What what kind of an artifact is it? Is well, it he's I mean, a, is it rock? Is it metal? Is it it's metal. It came out of a burial. Uh-huh. It was about, it's about the size of, uh, hmm, it's half the size of a golf ball. Ah. Uh-huh. Maybe a quarter the size, somewhere in there. It's about a quarter the size of a golf metal. Now, I mentioned those in my books. My older brothers found some old when I was a kid. Ah. They're so hard that a drill bit won't drill them, and a hacksaw won't cut them. Really? But if you hit it with a sledgehammer on an anvil, it'll break in half. It's kind of a silver material with a slight yellow tint. Um, we don't have no way of taking it to his house, but we could take it to the laboratory, yeah. and he could he could have it, bring it to the laboratory with him, and he could keep possession of it and watch the whole thing being yeah, done. the guy's an old guy and he's so afraid of losing that. He's got I wouldn't course. blame him. Um, but I, I believe it's rhodium. Yeah. Well, we have a... Uh, and I don't even read, know the name of it, but they have a machine that they, where they can put it in and it'll t- tell you every metal and every composition that's in that thing. Spectral analysis. Yeah. That'll work. I know this particular one it came out of a chest cavity of a seven-footer. Really? I, I told him he might have, they might have to drill it, put a little, take a little piece of it off. He, I can, I can find out how much okay. you know they need to take, but the, you know they that would it, that would damage it. And I don't know that if it was me, if I'd want it damaged to to do that. Science is important. We need to know. Yeah. But he may or may not. He, we may, he may just go ahead and end on that. Yeah. I'm not sure. He gets so darn old. I don't think he's going to live that much uh-huh. longer. He's already in. Okay. Well, well, listen. Let's talk sometime. Talk with your people. Maybe. Let's let's do it. Maybe what I'll do is set uh, a meeting with you and them, and, and you can talk and ask questions and share your concerns. And I'm not I'm not brilliant. I don't know the scientific end of this. I'm just kind of like you. I just like getting out and exploring. But they can ask any questions, any legal documents that need to be drawn up, or anything you know, or what the scientist who does the archaeometry, what he needs to do, what kind of samples he needs, what he can do. You know, yeah. you can ask him. Well, let's just well let's talk then. Let's just, if you want to, we can probably get us a meeting sometime. Well, I'll, if you want to get the appointment and talk about it and check with my time, I'll, let's, I'll talk to you. I'll do that then. I'll uh, set up a time sometime and we'll just get together and meet somewhere and then and, and go from there. Well, sounds great, Robert. I appreciate you talking with me. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Okay. Thanks. I wish you'd be well, Terry. Okay, you too. Thank you. All right.